Hey everyone and welcome back to part 11 of Renovating EA, the series in which I renovate EA's lots. Today we are working on Caspa Gallery in San Mayashuno. And going into this build, I intended to just update uh, the lot while keeping it, you know, keeping this decor style the same and all of that. But it kind of turned into an industrial theme. Um, so I'm I made it about halfway through um, painting the exterior until I realized it and then, then I just decided to just lean into it and go with it and I'm glad I did because I, I do like it. This build wasn't without its issues though. Um, it was mostly OBS giving me fits, um, but I had about three hours of footage and I lost some of it, of actually quite a bit of it because OBS decided that it wanted to be a pain but you know you're not missing much though um, really it was just a lot of indecisions and that kind of thing which by now I'm sure you have learned come to expect with my builds and everything but anyway um, I added as many different creative objects as I could uh, from other packs there are candle makers, uh, candle making stations, um, fabricators, flower arranging, easels, juice fizzers, you know, pretty much ev just about every one that I could think of, think to add, are there. Because I kind of wanted to, um, with it being in the city and having apartments, I was thinking about all the things that Sims couldn't fit into their own apartments. Because some of them, some of the apartments are a little bit small. But, um, so I just thought, you know, if I, all the creative Sims could actually just bring, you know, they can, no matter what they were into, they could do it here. Um, they could take pictures and, uh, cause there's a photography studio or, you know, a couple, um, they could, you know, do woodworking or, you know, whatever their, their stuff was. Um, you know, whatever their medium is, they can do it. Um, so I guess this leaves about the lot. Well, there's one more build in this, uh, in the San Myshuno season. Um, and then we are done with San Myshuno. And the, that one will be Myshuno Meadows. And I've already been working on it. Actually, it was supposed to be part 10, but I didn't get it done in time and it's still not done um, and I've have hours of footage that and I'm not even I haven't even made it to the interior yet and I'm still working on the landscaping so uh, so I, and I figured it being the biggest lot then it would probably make more sense to have it um, be the finale and after that I'm probably going to take a small little break from the series, of course, because um, I'll probably be doing a lot of building for growing together once I get my hands on the pack anyway. But then I will probably move on to Brindleton Bay because I've already done um, Forgotten Hollow or mostly, I think I just have Vlad's house left, I think. I'm not sure. I can't remember. It's been a bit. Um, so I'll probably just start on Brindleton Bay and I'm going to try to stagger between, you know, bounce between community lots and residential lots. So it's, so I don't do all of the residential lots and then just have nothing but community lots left. But with there only being three, technically four, because I added the Alto family from the Sims three, um, that I made to that world, I think, um, it's gonna, it, it might be a bit challenging to kind of vary them to where you you guys aren't getting all residential lots and then all community lots. So I'll have to figure out how I'm gonna do that. Um, but uh, for the most part, yeah, that's pretty much my next, uh, my next world to work on. Um, I really hope you guys like this series. Uh, I know I'm not the only one that likes to, uh, or that's renovating and that's probably recording their renovations, but you know, 
it does give you something new to look at or whatever because everybody's build style is different so I mean I guess it works um, as for the um, growing together expansion pack I've mentioned this before but I'm probably I've pretty much decided I'm not gonna do a full-on let's play for that I'm probably just going to more than likely and I've like I said, I'm pretty much firm on it, that I'm just going to use um, my 70 Legacy um, to kind of explore that pack. I'm not going to, it's not going to be a huge focus, but it's, you know, because I need to still do the the goals and everything for, seven, for the Legacy, for the challenge. But I, uh, I do want to use that to kind of explore that pack um, because I'm really excited about it I mean I've said it probably in every single video since it was announced but I'm really excited about this like I said in my last video and probably the video before that I have wanted a generations type pack for years um, you know as well as many of us in the community anyway so I'm really excited about that uh, and I can't wait to get to get my hands on the build by objects and you know just kind of explore the world and and all of that because one of my favorite things about playing The Sims has become building the save and you know adding to it and and thinking up all of the households that I want which is a process in and of itself um, usually I start with how many residential lots you know planning the world as it is uh, you know what I want what lots I want there community lots I want there and then what uh, you know what type of households would fit the world and the pack itself and the features of the pack so and I really haven't started planning much as far as the households um, because I've I kind of have to really decide on how many residential lots that I'm gonna have right now I have it planned out to seven but I may end up changing it back to nine because I want that little area where the movie theater is if you've seen the map I want to turn that in more of community lots kind of like the central space for community lots but I guess we'll just have to wait and see well anyway I think that's about all for me for now um, enjoy the rest of the video if you like this video give it a like and I will see y'all later thanks for watching bye